Hi friends! Nice to sign on and see people waiting and um, calling me out for the fact that I'm three minutes late. <laughs> uh, yeah, no power issues, just um, me not being on time. That's what happened today. Sorry about that. But thanks for being here. Um, I'm excited to maybe finish the design today. I feel like I'm jinxing it by saying that, so let's not, um, let's not say that. Yeah, nice to see so many of you here. Let me know if you're gonna co-work alongside me today or if you're going to just be chilling out, hanging out, watching. I don't know. That's both are acceptable. Um, this is like a, it's a co-working stream because I can sort of feel like your, your co-worker sitting alongside you, but um, I do talk a lot, so I'm maybe a bit of an annoying co-worker. <laughs> cool, Alexis is gonna be in Figma as well. What are you gonna be designing? Chris is also gonna be working. Me and Chris had a chat earlier today, which was fun. I cannot pronounce your name. That is a character that I do not own. Tell me phonetically how to how to pronounce that. How am I, Finn? I am doing well. I feel a little bit tired. Like um, I've maybe undone all the good rest work that I did earlier on in this sabbatical. So I'm gonna take it easy this weekend. Um, but I just, I don't know. When I feel inspired, like I do feel right now to work on my personal website, I just don't wanna stop. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get into it. Let me share my screen and let's like just start that, shall we? Um, just need to close down a couple of things. Wireframing your website for a local paint store. Nice. Hi, Asaro. Melanie, welcome to the stream. Tyron's brainstorming a design dev agency name. Ooh, interesting. Feel free to share your current thinking and people can give feedback in the chat if you like. Laura's going to be taking photos. Nice. Ah, oh, there we go. Alexis like, is designing a store locator page. Very fun. Okay, here we go. Let's go full screen. Um, I, I did a few things off stream, but like, honestly, you are all basically seeing the entirety of this design process um, happening in front of you. What I've done today is, first of all, I've been working on, you might have seen on Twitter, the... Um, design of the new Inside Marketing Design podcast art. This was the previous. And I think this right here is where I'm ending up, which I love. I really think this photo works well. I edited out some art to make space for the Inside Marketing Design logo. Um, and I feel like I'm really enjoying it. Hi, Sabrina. And Asara's just watching today, that's cool. Okay, another thing that I did, um, if you've joined previous streams, we were having a debate between, here we go, bring it up here, walking photo or studio photo for like the header. Um, and I think that I have settled on the walking photo, which walking photo fans would be pleased to hear. I've darkened the this gate here this very ornate elaborate gate i can't remember what this building is called in valencia but it's in the old town um anyway let me let me do this see so this was the old and this is the new so i was gonna say it's subtle it's like quite a lot darker but i think it looks natural enough and um yeah it just takes a lot of that distraction down which i really enjoy so i think that the walking photo is staying, which seems to be some fans in the chat. <laughs> Oleg, okay, I'm gonna remember that that's the pronunciation of your name. Remind me if I forget. So, yeah, um, feeling pretty good about that. Um, I'm gonna leave the original version. See, this was the, ooh, I need to bring in my new art, don't I? Let's, uh, let's bring that in. because this is going to be what has to go in the mega menu, of course. But let me just put it here to compare. Um, the original photo versus the edit. So you can see I blurred the fuck a little <laughs> and I blurred and also added blue on top of this um, art because it was, you know, quite standing out a lot. Um, and I removed all these images here just so there was more space for the inside marketing design logo. But I'm happy with that, and let's put this in to our mega menu. Hey, Bruffstar. Glad you made it today. 
And I think this is going to look much better because it's an image that has a background to it, so we no longer need a stroke. Yeah. Cool. This is making me want to rework the Design Life podcast art, I feel like. We've had this, I think, literally since the show launched, but yeah. <laughs> Good rule for life, blow the fuck. <laughs> I love it. Okay, um, so where do we get to? Oh, something else that I've been thinking about um, is that I don't think I will actually make, I think I'm gonna make this image a minimum 100 view height, but I don't think I'm gonna actually try and have it be um, only 100 view. Does that make sense as a, like you might see it, like this might be the way your it loads where it's like, there's still more to go. Um, no, no, no. What I want to say is the whole section won't be 100 view height, the photo will be, that's it. I think that I want to have the photo in place and like this information scrolls next to it until you get to the end of the information. I feel like I'm not explaining that well, but that'll be something that we get into probably next week when I start building. But yeah. Um... This was where I got stuck, and I think it's the... Oh no, there's one more section. Let me bring this in here. And bring in this draft. Okay. So I got stuck here because I was wanting to have these be the different tags, um, and it didn't work out like I was imagining. I want to bring up what I have written on my current site. One second. Okay, good. I'm glad that you understood what I was trying to <laughs> say there, Chris. I don't know why I felt like I should explain that, but yeah. Um, I think I might copy, copy this copy. Put you to the side. Do a little thank you next on it. How's your Friday going, folks? Hope you're having a good day. currently melting. <laughs> what is the temperature where you are? I'm going to add in a little call out here while most of I'm writing um I'm going to put a text link here to the newsletter. Because that is definitely a goal of my site is to um, get more newsletter subscribers. On the current site, I have two of the latest blog posts, but I think I'm happy with just one now. Thirty, but anything above twenty-five mouth my Scottish ass. Yeah, I know that feeling, and um, I don't know if Scotland's the same as England, but when I lived in England. Most apartments and, I don't know, houses don't have air conditioning, uh, at least not good functioning ones. And so, yeah, existing in, in 30, 
even 25 without air conditioning is hell. <laughs> what is it right now in Valencia? I'm sitting inside happily in, in the AC. Um, oh wow, it's only 24 here right now. Hmm. Practically winter. <laughs> We'll see when we get into the code um, if having this at the top or the bottom makes more sense. I don't know. Also, I'm going to need to change. Um, I think I'm liking sentence case on my buttons. Ooh, let's bring in my button component for this actually. And that will be a small button. And it'll be pink. Am I into the NFT scene? I'm not. Um, I thought about it for a hot minute, but I just don't, I don't know. I could not in good conscience promote an NFT collection. I just cannot get away from it feeling like a pyramid scheme. I'm sorry. It's not a... Uh, I don't mean to offend anybody who is into that whole space, but I just don't understand it, the like appeal of it enough myself. Which is a shame because it would be fun. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we want this to just be. And maybe the work can be a little bit bigger. Why do I not have this on any grid at all? <laughs> interesting, interesting choice. Do I want to do it even? Hmm. I think we probably do. Let's do that. Mm, maybe a little bit too close. Maybe there should be a column gap between. Half a column. nice that you've turned it into a full like community thing and that's the thing like there's a bunch of people um a lot of friends of mine or like you know people i know and respect have nft collections and i definitely don't think they're scammers or anything like that it's absolutely not what i'm saying um it's just not for me this copy is way too long Um, okay, how do we shorten this? Um. Do I talk about live streams here? I don't think I do. Ooh, unless, unless. Hmm. Could Zapier bring in the latest addition to a playlist? Let's take a look at that. Am I apparently not logged in? Um, 
Let's see if this idea could work. Yes, cookies, fine. Ooh, okay. Maybe I could have it so that the latest live stream always ends up in a separate little bit. Regu, if you have not seen me for a long time, that's on you, my friend. I've been streaming for three days straight now. <laughs> um, Asaro, here we go. Let me show you our grid setup right now. These are the settings. Um, so I've got a 1440 canvas with 135 pixel margin on the side so that the container ends up at 1170 and it's a 24 pixel gutter. Hello, nice to see you again. How do I want to do this? I don't want to hugely encourage people to go to my dribble because I don't, don't post on it that regularly. But um, maybe something like that. Maybe it just needed a paragraph space. And let's put an icon in here. Live stream, hyphenated or not? I've done it in two different ways apparently. I'll be adding case studies not right now um since my goal right now is not to either get a new job or to get client work um i don't like feel the need to put time into that right now what was the voodoo i just did with the button icon so this is how i have it set up in my little mini design system over here um using figma's new component properties the icon if i go in here um is a is set up as a boolean component property so turn it on and off i think this works because my initial idea was to have this be another 100 view height section but Nah. We'll have it match with the blog post instead. Okay. That was easier to sort out than I expected. I still didn't find the bloody TikTok icon. But someone said that Font Awesome had one and that it was free. So let me look. Oh, does Noun Project have one? Because I already have. Uh, mm, this might be. Okay, and then let's do this. We can just fill it in ourselves, huh?
Oh. That's one thing that I am not a fan of with Figma is they seem to make it harder than it needs to be to oop, do stuff like this. And I know there's a hack where you can like, ooh, well look at this, this icon needs some fixing. Whoa. Damn it, no, I've clicked on the wrong thing. Fuck it, whatever. We'll just have a messy icon. Do, you, do I work with WordPress Elementor? No, I do not. I could not find it on the TikTok site, Tyron. If you know where I should look for that, please tell me. We flow and web flow with sorrow. <laughs> um, ooh, these tip jar icons are terrible. Definitely gonna need to design my own. Let's bring this one in as a placeholder. I did not see a press kit, Asaro. I want to bring my Webflow affiliate link into the footer here in case people are looking for how I built my site. Um, Yeah, the only ones I found on Google too were ones that required attribution. To be fair, didn't look long and hard for it, but still. Okay, the footer. How are we feeling about the footer? Where? Oh wait, no one can post a link, I think, because um, if anyone feels like DMing me or tweeting me with the official TikTok S SVG, that would be very helpful. I do not use TikTok much, but I want to more. Hang on, I hear a cat meowing. Nora wanted to say hi. No, she doesn't. She just wants to get away from me. What did you want to come in here for then, huh? <laughs> the cats are good. Thanks for asking. Dealing with the heat well because we have the AC on. Hmm? I'll put you on your windowsill. Um, I don't use WordPress for my own site, but I um, use WordPress at work. No one wants to be on TV.
Maybe these just need some more structure to them, you know? Why can I not? Oh. I don't want to have them take up just two columns each. That's a bit too tight. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Hello, Corey. <laughs> Corey enters the chat. Thank you, Chris. Um, what is the license like if you downloaded it from Font Awesome? Am I allowed to use it? Oh, that's so much nicer than the chunky boy that I had. Much better. Whoa. What the heck? No, I do not want to open Illustrator. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, what Corey's talking about is... Um, tell me if this was the one. I think it's Issa's work anniversary this weekend, potentially. Um, before I went out on sabbatical, I noticed that three of my team members had their work anniversaries coming up and we always like post to celebrate when someone's been at the company for like X amount of years. Um, just give a little post and everyone leaves some nice congratulations and things on them. And so I set up some and scheduled them to post. I hope they all went out. I think that should have been the last one. Ah, Henry's, right. Was it the last one? Oh, it's Isis. Isis is coming up on, on Sunday, so I think you'll see Isis shortly today, Corey. I think I set them both to go out today, just like staggered a few hours apart. Okay, what are we doing here? Maybe I put like a max width on them. Hmm. works if the they're essentially taking up these columns then a column gap let's see what it would would look like with a dividing line between them as well though there's the user message great I'm glad to know that's working I was wondering about that <laughs> Dividing lines kind of help? I think I need to make these... What font size have we got here? Why are they 15? That's not a... That's not in my system. Let's just change, actually, the...
What is your favorite one so far, Tyron? Maybe I'll put my privacy policy over here in the tip jar over here. I am trying to use an eight point system in um, somewhat in this site. That's what the grid I have set up is because the ConvertKit site is now um, on an eight point system. Well, will be in our new iteration. Okay, I think I'm happy. I think this is, oops. I think this is our homepage design. Um, still things I need to do like draw the hand-drawn assets and things, but I don't feel like doing that right now. Right now I want to work on applying some of the design styling here to other pages on the site and just check that it'll work. Um, like for example, my blog, because this is going to be quite a big change. Um, okay, Julian, if we want to, let's do a dividing line poll. <laughs> Julian, you were you a team walking photo as well, right? So you seem to be picking winners. Um, dividing lines or no dividing lines? I think I like that it groups this content together a little bit more. Make real, that's nice. And how do I add hand-drawn assets like the arrows? Um, oh, you were team office image. Sorry, Julian. <laughs> seeing seeing the walking photo now, I do you do you like it? Oh, Bruff Star, in with the dad joke. <laughs> I don't know if I want to box each section though. That. It is actually an interesting idea because it, obviously that's a pattern that I established further on. Um, let's give it a try. Ooh, I think if I box each section, then I'm each section. I'm locked into having them all be the exact same width as well, which I don't want to have to do. Like I think it'll need to take up more space. Oh, maybe not. Nah, I think we just do dividing lines. Box box. <laughs> hey, it was worth trying, Luigi. Okay. Um, blog. Yes, I was going to go to the current blog. The rough star wants to be different and say no lines. See how I have my current menu is this like at the side. So I'm making quite a change to how my blog functions. Um, was this the final? Yeah, this was all the things I tried out back when I was doing the blog. Let's just bring it in. Oh, not what I meant to do. Yeah, the individual pages as well are going to change. I think it'll be a process to get the whole site into a state where I want it. Um, I don't really want to have to redesign completely. <laughs> Propstar, that's hilarious. Can confirm no one in the, my whole life has ever called me Prangers, but it sounds like a very Kiwi nickname. You can call me that if you want. <laughs> Today I am drinking sparkling water and I also have still water as another option. I'm trying to drink less coffee on this sabbatical because um, just feel like I should make use of the fact that I don't really need 
to be super alert all day. <laughs> Okay, so. Oops, my navigation, I changed the font size and now. Prang is in mesh! <laughs> Very unique. Seriously, no one has ever called me that. Now. Do I want to have a purple background on my navigation? Do I choose to always have it like this? Exactly, Corey, exactly. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> we seem to have some coffee addicts in the chat. Um, this is making me feel like I need the whole thing to move closer to the top, which I'll obviously need to do on the homepage as well. Nice. See, I, for me, making an AeroPress coffee in the mornings is my, like, um, start of the day ritual, I guess you could say. Yes, I definitely want the nav to be the same place on all pages, Melanie. Yeah, you're right. The, the current product page was really designed as a landing page more than a part of my site. Um, so, yeah. I agree. Not my finest work. Maybe I can get away with having the blog post feed the same by doing this. Somehow in here, I want to work in, um, maybe I bring this, no, I don't know, I'm going to bring this exact copy in. Maybe here is where we bring in this idea and I bring in my little category markers. Oh no, Josh. Yeah, that's where you gotta cut yourself off when it's a personal project, right? Okay, um, seeing this, feeling like maybe, well, first of all, we're not gonna have this footer. Why is this page? Yeah, okay. Ooh, 
What if... This is centered. Oops, centered text. Oh, do I want to get into doing a filtering thing? We could do, you know. I don't know how this whole idea is going to work with my, um, this whole background card situation. This might be something that I need to give up on. Do I get OCD sometimes in designing? Nope. I'm not really a, um, oops. Uh, I'm not like a pixel perfect person. I don't feel like I get obsessed. I do feel like I have an eye for detail. Like, Corey will be able to tell you the number of times I, I'm like, hey, this is one pixel off <laughs> in a build. But I'm not um, obsessive and compulsive about it. I think that these background bits have to go. Unless I stick with this. I mean, yeah. I want to bring in newsletter thing here again because like I said we're really trying to pitch this newsletter. Oh I forgot because I'm calling this section writing. Maybe I should just call it blog. It'd be easier. Something like this? Why has this got a purple border? Maybe in here I mention as well as updates on my book. Yes, the hopeful song is our own. This song tells us we can figure out these challenges. <laughs> we can find the right design solution. I think I'm going to say blog. Makes it shorter because I've also lengthened the um, products and services. Can 
nice to see you, Corey. Thanks for telling me that my auto-posted Slack messages were working. I think that this works and this is easier because then I don't have to completely rebuild everything. Oh, interesting. Apparently at one point I was planning on having case studies on my blog <laughs> when I was designing that. Okay, so now let's make our... And I think we'll do this as a filter. Ooh, okay, and then... I don't have a comment section on my blog, but I do want to encourage people to get in touch if they have um, feedback. So, and maybe we keep this in the side. Just an idea at the moment. Maybe I can bring in a little call-out bubble here. I really need a shorter arrow than this, but that's okay. I'm just gonna squish this guy for now. <laughs> and obviously this needs to be in the actual button style and all that shit. That sounds pretty nice, Tyrone. Seems like you feel drawn to that one. What are the reasons not to use that one? Um, like, what's at stake here in making this choice? What's stopping you from just going with it? Right now I have, if I click into one, yeah I have a custom form which I'm not gonna include anymore. Um, these look so shit. <laughs> okay, so maybe we'd have Oh, 
obviously we would need to tidy up a little bit but the spacing I mean Maybe we do something like that, where you just see the two next ones. Ooh, and you need a way back to all of them, don't you? Maybe that's in the middle? Do I like gradients? Yes, I do. I don't tend to use them a lot myself, but I enjoy appreciating them. <laughs> Thanks for all your um, dad jokes and my new nickname, Bruff Styles. Nice having you here. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Definitely from the name you have right now and the description right now, it sounds like, um, it's solely design services. I think that I have um, enough links to all that sort of stuff, you know, elsewhere. Ooh, maybe this needs to go in a, a gray background. Just to separate it a little bit. With a bit more breathing room, perhaps. I think if you're doing offering Webflow Dev 2, that could fit really well in make real design because it's like not only are you designing it, you're making it into a real site too. Okay, I feel like um, that needs some tweaking, but I'll figure it out in the build. Okay, what else do I need to consider? Podcasts will go to, that doesn't need a page on my site, that'll go to separate pages. Actually, I should bring up my Webflow site and look at all the pages that I have, and make sure that I'm considering each one of them. The cool thing about streaming this whole process is when someone inevitably asks me later on down the line, how long did it take you to work on this? I can just go look at all my streams and add up the number of hours that I streamed. <laughs> okay. Um, oh damn, I forgot about all these types of pages. So this is a need. I have like a plain page that I use for a bunch of different things. Stuff like survey answers. Okay, so let's just design a plain page real quick. I think this is going to be ridiculously easy. We're just going to have, oops, I didn't mean to not get rid of the text. And I think it probably wouldn't go across the whole width.
Okay, maybe I should think about what I'd want to... Maybe I want to promote something on a plane page. Like... My font, for example. Yeah, I like that. I'm making use of the space more. Because um, I have a bunch of these here, for example, like in my newsletter, I sometimes run little polls, which is really fun. And so every time someone clicks a link, it tracks the like URL parameter on the link they've clicked. Um, and I send them to this page, like this is the URL they go to. So now they'll see a little promo for Grayscale, as well as the thank you for voting. Yeah, this is Figma. Okay, what else do I need to consider? Um, ah, my About Me page. Well, I don't think that I... Sorry, that was a gross noise. I don't think I finished writing that. <laughs> I did not. Okay, but I did start collecting a bunch of things. Something I'm gonna do on this site, I actually had... You might have noticed. Um, what is it here? got this cosmopolitan blog awards image that I found because I'm gonna have a little awards section I think it can just help I don't think awards should matter but that um, if I want to if I can call these out it just like give some sort of um, command some respect maybe that's what I'm looking for I don't want to work on my about page right now so maybe I won't um, what is my current page yeah I mean I could just keep this on a plain page template for now I'm wary that after next week I'm going back to work um, and I will have way less time to be working on my side, which is a shame. Okay. Yeah, all that can be my plain page template right now. Oh, I forgot I made this page. Social proof, exactly. Very well, exactly that. I have not been experimenting with that Tyron because I don't have a need for it. Um, but it looked exciting from what I saw in the um, the keynote when, when it was launched. Next week, no. Did I say that? After next week, I think is what I said. So I have next week as my last week of sabbatical. And then I'm back to work. I can't believe it's almost going to be over. Um. Okay. Damn, you know what I just thought of? Um... This little block here would be a prime use case for experimenting with something like write message. Because I know it connects to ConvertKit and I would be able to tell through cookies if a site visitor um, had already purchased my font or not. So it's like once they've purchased my font, I could swap this out and instead promote a mentoring session or the job board or something else like that. That could be fun. That could be a fun future thing to work on. Them cookies. <laughs> okay. But let's think through. What else would I want to design a separate? Oh, my product page, of course. The, the grayscale page. Um, and a separate page for my newsletter also is probably gonna be a good idea. What else? What is in my footer that I need to think about a page for? Um, 
Maybe I should bring in, someone suggested this a while ago, but um, what is that icon called? Yeah, basically just two little squares. This, what is this called? Page. But going the other way. Oh, this one, yeah, this icon. Um, I do not currently do that very well. Actually, I have in the past, like I, I've sent promotional emails out and excluded people who've already purchased from it. But I also tend to not promote my own stuff very much in my email at all. That's probably a bad thing. Um, Justin, and yeah, after I finish designing this, because this is for my personal site, I'm gonna build it myself in Webflow. Melanie asked, do I ever delete old posts? Um, I would delete an old post if I felt like I no longer, like, was proud of the content, if that makes sense, um, or that it, like, the message that it communicated. For example, when I, eight, oh, right, let me group these. I used to have a different blog that was more like a lifestyle blog where I talked about fashion and beauty and things like that. And um, I no longer have those posts. Like I didn't bring them over with me to my Webflow site because that was no longer the type of content that I wanted to make. Hey. <laughs> so I'm sorry, that's a very annoying answer because it's like, basically it's up to you. <laughs> Oh damn, a lot of these actually link out to a different... I think I want to make a page about the co-working club on my site. That'd be fun. Um. Oops. My resources page I'm planning on. I, I've always wanted to have a page on my site that is like the hub of all the tech that I use. My camera gear, the software that I use, um, stuff like that. Shop my office, all the prints and things that I had. It'll be a good like way to, for me to bring in um, affiliate links and ensure that if I'm recommending something to someone that I get a little kickback from it. I think affiliate links are great for that. And just have it all in one place when people ask like what's my streaming setup i can be like here <laughs> same with like courses that i recommend and stuff like that but that is might might not be something that i get to straight away okay let's take a look at my current um apparently when i apparently i designed in the browser did I really do that? I don't remember doing that. When I made my updated grayscale page. Hmm. Where else might I have put that? Oh cool, a completely blank file. 
I'm not going to delete it though because Figma won't let me create any new ones. <laughs> I love that, Melanie. So do you watch like a replay of older ones even while you're working? So even though it's not live. Ooh, I wonder if I did it in here. Huh. That's so weird. I don't know. Or I wonder if it was a draft or something. Um, whoops, not Gary scale. So I can't find the design of that um, original page. That's so weird. So basically we could just imagine it being this page but with a proper navigation on top for now. And the new footer. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I'm not gonna bother mocking it up. Okay, what else do I need to consider though? Yeah, the newsletter page, that probably does deserve some thinking. Let's Let's think about it. Hmm. think that this would probably have a purple background as well and that would have the I do have a convert kit landing page for the newsletter But I would want to have, um, yeah, one on my own site. What font size did I use here? 47. Wait. Random Macro Black, do you mean that you watch my New York trip videos before you visit? Or you mean your someone else's? Those are very old videos if you're talking about mine. That was such a good trip. This is a oops. I should get some testimonials on my newsletter. That would be fun. Like I like when people embed um, tweets of people talking about the, the newsletter.
I need to work out these font sizing, huh? Maybe marketing design dispatch is the heading. And then maybe we have a subheading. Yep, Steven, I do plan on live streaming the build. That'll probably start next week. Tyron, tell me why you don't read them. What would make you want to read them? I love that so much that you're watching those older videos. I think I like, would like to collect first name. Oops. Ooh, Asara, was that potentially um, at the Sean Wes conference? The talk you're thinking about? The name of this main font is Averta. It's by, um, I can't remember what they, TDF, what is the TDF Foundry, um, what is this, the Designers Foundry? Yeah. Here. This Foundry. I've bought it, um, years ago, been using it for years. Do they still have it? Let's see. Maybe I can just search. Yep, they still have it. <laughs> really nice font. I think that, yeah, if I was talking about creating on YouTube, it was either the Sean West conference or I don't think I uploaded my ConvertKit conference talk to my own channel, so it probably wasn't that. Why am I changing to only taking emails? What do you mean, Nikolai? What do you mean by that? I'm going to bet. Let me go to my channel and see if I can see which talk you're talking about, Asaro. I bet it was. This one, this talk here, creating consistent videos. I, eh, I dabble, Jacques, not very often, not going to lie. It's been a while since I last played piano.
We should have a piano stream. Oh dear, we should not have a piano stream. That would be way too awkward and embarrassing. Oh yeah, the cats sit on it all the time, Sabrina. Especially when they want to leave the office. Oh, Nikolai, that's what you mean. Um, yeah, on the homepage, I'm leaving it as just email because I feel like it's um, just lower effort for people. Same within my footer. Actually, in the footer, I think I might add first name in because there's room here. Um, but like, yeah, if I can, I want to collect, collect first name. It's just super useful to have. I might see how it looks when I get into embedding the form um, on the homepage too. Mm, okay, idea for this. What if we pull this down here? Whoa. Please just sit within these columns. There we go, close enough. Yeah, I would love to bring in some tweets. I might go ask people for that. If anyone watching right now gets my marketing design dispatch and enjoys it, if you feel like tweeting, yeah, you can share a link to this page. I'll put it, I'll put it in the chat. Um, basically make a recommendation if you so feel inclined don't feel like you have to I won't be offended um, but if you wanted to tweet like a little testimonial about why you like getting the newsletter um, then I could feature you on the page which would be cool <laughs> I can embed some tweets yeah I just feel like that would be fun no worries if you don't want to though there's no pressure Oh, you're not having a Twitter account. No worries, Tyrone. Skateboard stream. Sabrina, I piano more than I skateboard. That's the truth. I'm too afraid. I, I think I'm too old and hurting myself <laughs> hurts too much now, if that makes sense. Like, I, I hurt myself much easier. Thank you, Nikolai. I'd appreciate that. Tag me as well. I forgot to say that. Otherwise, I don't know how I'll see your tweet. <laughs> um, I also need to put in a little call out about sponsoring the dispatch. Um, in case you didn't hear, ConvertKit launched a sponsor network. And wait, let me see if I can remember the URL for that. I think this is it. Yeah. Uh, and I'm part of it. Look, there's me along with like, look, this is me hanging out on the landing page alongside James, Claire and Pat Flynn. Um, but yeah, I need to, as part of this, have like a little note so that if people want to sponsor the newsletter, then they know to reach out. Yes, exactly, Sabrina. I'm too fragile now in my 30s. <laughs> Mm, I think there might be a type form that I need to embed. I got an email about it the other day. Oh no, it's just a button. Okay. So instead of being this, it would be an actual button. Um. 
maybe actually it will be a one of these and it'll say learn more. And then I'll just make it a one of my plain pages. Ooh, which makes me think I should make this a CMS thing with the ability to pick what you're promoting and not promote anything if I don't want to. Hmm. I like that idea. Um, I'm going to need to create an image here, but that's okay. Mm. I'm saying sponsor way too much. Get your product or service. Something like that. I don't know. That needs work. And I'm just going to make this gray so that I remember I need to make an image for it. Bye Lau, thanks for joining us. Um, I think I'm going to try ship it all at once, Sabrina, because I'm like breaking too much basically with this, but yeah, I guess I could. I still need to figure out how I might, um, I just don't know the best way to go about essentially starting from scratch on an existing WordPress, uh, WordPress Webflow site. Like, do I start a completely new site and then transfer my domain over? Like, I don't want to be bogged down by all the old breakpoints and like messy code that I've made, you know? Okay. I'm happy with that for now. Um, what else did I say I wanted to do? I figured out that I'm just going to add the new header and footer onto the product page. Um, let's think about the about page, I guess. New site and move to main when done. It feels scary though. And like, then I'd have to move over all of my CMS items as well. Maybe there's some sort of importer Webflow has for that. Don't be embarrassed, Sabrina. I think I firmly believe the best tool for the job is the one that works for you. Okay, okay, okay. I probably should think about my about page. I think I'm going to make a CMS collection item for um, testimonials and I think I need to get people to submit a headshot as well or I just need to ask them for it. But I think I need to think about this mentoring page. Okay, so I'm going to reuse the same photo for 
a page about my mentoring services. And I think what I'm going to try and do is embed Calendly as well. How do you get the purple star you keep seeing? That is for channel members. You can choose to join as a channel member and then you get that little star. I don't know if Eric is here today, but Eric has been a channel member for so long that he has a even specialer badge. Um, I think it's three months, possibly six that your star gets sparkles around it. <laughs> um, it gives you like a special emoji you can use in the chat as well. I don't know how you access those though, to be honest. I've switched from, um, I don't have a Patreon anymore. And so channel membership is now the best way that if you were like, if you would become a patron instead, then you can become a channel member, if that makes sense. Thanks, Chris. Chris just did a tweet. Check this out, folks. Thank you so much, Chris. I really appreciate that. Um, and this will definitely be embedded on the page. I'm going to save a link to it right now. Nice. Um, well, okay, well, we don't want to do that. <laughs> Sabrina, welcome officially to the co-working club. Now you have a star. And you'll be pleased to know that is the exact same star. I think it's actually this one right here. No, nope, it's slightly different. But it's one of the stars that I drew um, in the same set as these. <laughs> I need to look into Calendly's, Calendly's, Calendly's embed options, but like that'll go in here and then um, I'll bring in testimonials as well. Purple stars! Yeah, I love Sabrina's energy too. <laughs> Just what we need at uh, what? How how long have we been streaming for right now? At hour one and a half into the stream. <laughs> ah, six months. There we go. So Eric has been around for six months. Does it show you that? Does it? That's cool. Hi, Bruna. Okay, and then I think we would want to end with a CTA. Ma'am. That needs work, but I don't want to spend more longer on it right now because I'm not sure what Calendly's embed options are and I don't want to go into my Calendly account on stream because then I might reveal people's personal information that they don't want revealed. What else do we need to figure out before I can get started on building? I think that what I'll do next is start prepping all the stuff for build. Um, I know I haven't mocked up mobile for everything, really only the navigation, but I feel like I know what I want to do in my head for that. Ah, uh, the about page. I guess I'll think about that a little bit more. I think I want to do something similar to this and I want to use the photo of me and Nora for the about page. Where is it? Oh, 
working, working, working. Oh, there we go. This one. She's so cute. Yes, same shark. I do the exact same thing. I'm like, how did past me figure that out? I, I feel that way about my navigation on my current site. How it like sticks. I still don't have an open again. Oh, here we go. On the blog, how it like goes like this and how on a post it goes like this. I'm like, damn. <laughs> She loves me really. I think this is a great um, depiction of our relationship. I wish, I don't know if I can, let me try something. Let's see if I can turn my camera. Can you see them over there? Both just snoozing away. So cute. Oh, okay. Now did I just ruin everything? Let's see. Nope, I'm still in frame. <laughs> Uh, okay, what did I start writing for this? I clearly need to spend more time working on this. Cat cam! Well, Sabrina, at least you're now laying down on a maid bed and you have coffee. <laughs> it's a start. I'm going to put a dot 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 because <laughs> there's more that needs to come here. What was your cat's name? Um, okay, thinking about what did I want to put on this page? In what order do I want to put it in? How often do I run these streams? Um, right now, because I am on sabbatical and not working, I've been doing them every day the past three days and we'll probably stream a bunch next week as well as I build this stuff. But normally in the work week, I try and stream at least once a week. Usually it'll be either a Tuesday or a Friday because those are my meeting free days or like minimal meeting days where I actually have the time. Um, and in those streams, you'll see me work on actual ConvertKit projects. So it just depends like what I have going on. Um, yeah, if, if I can stream or not. That would be great, Nikolai. Um, let me post that link again. This link here is a good one to use. I hope that comes through when I post a link in the chat, right? You can see the link that I've just posted in the chat. Um, cause I know that it doesn't work when you post links cause it's like spam protection. Yeah. And Twitter would URL shorten it as well. Morris. That's a great cat name. Nora is named after a skateboarder called Nora Vasconcelos. She's pretty cool. And so I just wanted to take that name for my cat. And then my other cat, Seb, is named after... Sebastian Vettel, <laughs> the Formula One driver.
Oops, wrong page. The grid size? Everyone's interested in the grid, huh? It's a uh, 1170 wide. And these are the settings. Wait, here we go. It's got a 24 pixel, got a 12 column grid. Hope that's helpful. What if I put this as my... <laughs> yep, I am trying to, Mohammed, but I'm not being super strict with it. My buttons, for example, were set up with that idea though. And that's why there's 24 pixel gutter in my in my grid um i tend to scale text sizes for mobile mostly heading sizes i feel like they end up way too large but i tend to keep things for ipad the same depends depends i'm kind of want to have in page like an in-page navigation here? I don't know. Because I want to have um, little sections where what? I guess I'd use this style text. What do they call this section? Awards and recognition. And that's where I'll have things like Interesting, Nikolai. That it lets you have more if you go on mobile. Thanks, this is fantastic. Everyone, check out this example. I love that. Thanks for sharing the details. We will copy the link to that as well. Because I'm going to embed these so your li like people will be able to click on it and go to your Twitter as well, if that makes sense. Mm, I think this actually needs to be, is this my H4? I think this is my H4. I have not set up type styles clearly. This is an H3. one of these needs some text. like that as well, Nikolai. Hashtag MDD. Um. 
Ooh, I think actually, hmm. First of all, copy the image. Craft Commons this year, I did not go. Um, and also I started my sabbatical the week after it, so I didn't get to talk to my team um, about how it went. But it, from the response that I saw on Twitter, it looked like everyone had a great time. Yeah, swapping these around. So this should be 23. This should be the 33. Thank you for the little tip, Shoaib. Tell me how to phonetically pronounce your name so I can get it right. And I love the little icon that it has with it. Yay, Sabrina found the emotes. The um, the Let's Chill one was designed by a Twitch viewer of mine. Because in case you didn't know, I started out live streaming on Twitch. And then um, I switched over to YouTube for design streams. Shoabe, thank you. This is gonna feel very fancy having this as a section on my side. What else? What else am I putting? I don't have that much stuff. I've really dug deep in my um, in my career for this. Thank you. That was for the I am a creator site. That's what I need as well to add in a link to visit the site, I guess. Hmm. I probably want to link. Yeah, I'm going to link to the it on the Webby site. So maybe it's already a link. Hmm. Some of them don't have links. That's not supposed to be you, right? It is supposed to be me. It's It was me with my blonde hair. <laughs> oh, Nikolai, I was reading about that the other day too. Isn't that a terrible fact? Like, shocking. I don't know what to put as a CTA for this. Like, I want to make it accessible for people to click on this and see <clears throat> the award site, but. Maybe just that? I don't know.
Something like that. Discover more. View award. Hmm. Might end up needing to make these more like cards. I don't know. Here, then we have another big gap. <laughs> what we have? YouTube logo. There we go, there's a fun fact entry from Sabrina. <laughs> Are these um, what you were hoping for, Tyron? Maybe I'll put a link to my own vlog of that experience in here. <laughs> Very random, so goal achieved. Love it. <laughs> what else? This is that cosmopolitan one that I found earlier. Hmm, how am I going to get around this? Let's do that. There we go, that works. <laughs> that one might be a stretch, Chris. <laughs> yes, I got my TikTok logo. Thanks to Chris. I don't have a link for this one. <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's two three little words together. <laughs> um, do they have a logo? Let's see. Yeah, these are fun to like gather in one place, right? Um, and I decided that because it's my website, it's not too braggy to like, you know, talk about them. I've never collated them all in one place before. Exactly. If not here, then where? My problem is, like, maybe I want to make this a, a carousel? I don't know. But now I've got an uneven number of rows, which is annoying. Ooh, I know. We'll have it not fill this category. I mean, column. As you can see, we're going back a ways with these awards. This is spanning like 10 years of my career, pretty much. So it's not actually that much, <laughs> but hey, it's something.
I am going to use that view award that someone... Maybe a view award site? Well, I put that in, Nikolai, because they're not all awards, technically. Like, this wasn't an award that I won. It was more like Adobe picked me and named me as a UX designer to watch. Uh, which was kind of funny because I don't really consider myself UX designer, technically. Um, but yeah, it's recognition, it's not an award, if that makes sense. Recognitions with a capital R. Like that. Is that feeling better? These all might be feeling like they want um, a box around them. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what's been really fun about this website redesign? Is I feel like every time I design my site, I'm in a rush with it. You know, I'm just trying to get something done as quick as possible and I'm like, eh, I'll worry about it later. Whereas I feel like I've really been able to take my time with this, which is nice. Um, you know, do something that I can genuinely be proud of. I don't, don't know why I was just thinking about that. <laughs> yeah, I think the light boxes are going to be the way to go. Maybe slightly the wrong grey, but we'll, we'll get there. And you know what? Maybe I'll win some other rewards and then um, I can fill out this section a little bit more and make it go across all the columns. <laughs> I agree, and I think that is a good term for it. Hey Eric, welcome, welcome. There's Eric with his specialist star. We were talking about this earlier, Eric, because Sabrina just joined the co-working club today. Hmm, good point, Chris. I feel like that might make it too wide. You know what I mean? I might explore that when I'm building it. Okay, cool. That's definitely feeling better. What else did I want in this section? Uh, 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 uh. Keep getting lost. Well, I clearly didn't finish writing this sentence. <laughs> hmm, interesting, Nikolai. What are you aiming for with um, with a rebrand? Like, what is not working for you about your current brand? I'd be really interested to hear that. Ooh, yes, that's the word. Thank you. Yep. Yep, Marcelo, we're going to start developing in Webflow next week, I think.
The weekend just started. What time is it where you are, Jacques? Oh, it's five o'clock. There we go. Are you, I'm going to assume you're in um, CET as well. Um, let's just bring over my thumbnail placeholder. South Africa, right. So not Europe, but same time zone pretty much. Um, and here I'm pretty sure I just had Webflow and Figma. Oh, Future Blinks created as well. Okay. Yep. So we can make this go over three columns. I will be building this in Webflow. So you don't really convert the Figma design as such as start building it. Ooh, I definitely need to bring logos in here too. I already have Webflow and Figma hanging out over here. Those ones, Marcelo, I think I'll um, improvise in development. The only one I do have in mind right now is for my header section here. I definitely want to have these photo elements load in separately and sort of like drift into place. I think that'll be cool. Somewhere I have the ConvertKit logo as well. There we go. Spanish lessons, I am not currently having them anymore. I had them for like two years and now I'm just going with the flow. <laughs> I get by, I'm definitely not fluent. Okay, Nikolai says about, about their brand. My colors aren't really a palette, but a few of my favorites. Um, all right. The logo has no personality anymore, like your spark isn't the same. You know, the design system, everything is different. Yep, makes sense. One thing I would advise you to do is not let yourself, um, don't get in your own way, I guess is what I want to say there. Like all of those are great reasons to rethink, but don't um, get stuck in the, in the redesign too long. write this copy on the fly. I decided to put um, the Future Songs Creators podcast in here and not as one of my own podcasts because, yeah, it's it's like a work thing and I want to keep it a little bit separate. And it's also not one that I started, I like took it over. Mm. 
Maybe I put the image. Hmm. I'm not sure where to put the, this will be an embed example of each of these videos. Or maybe I don't want to. Maybe I don't bring in an example. Hmm. Maybe this is, I've got it. Sorry, I'm not finishing my thought, am I? Before I'm moving on. We're gonna have this be a thumbnail up the top. And then it'll be in here like this. Yee. When in doubt, add a card. <laughs> Sorry, I missed a bunch of stuff while I was focusing on that. Um, Sabrina asks, can you give someone the Figma file and have them build it? I could, but I prefer to um, do it myself in Webflow. And I don't know, that's a really hard question to answer. I want to get it finished next week. I would really like to. I feel really... There's so many other things that I need to be doing and want to be doing, but I just also really want to work on this right now. So, And because it's my sabbatical, the like mode that I've been in for this month off is to follow my gut and like follow my interests and do whatever I feel like doing in the moment. Um, and if I feel like working on this, that's what I'm gonna work on. I want to see if, does the Webflow channel actually have my trends videos in a playlist? I'm going to ask them to make one if not. I think I've done three now. Let's see. I'm just going to, well, I don't know if I, no. Yeah, here we go. 19, 21, 22. Did I not do 2020? Yeah, though I did. Did 2020 as well. Four years, cool. This first one I filmed in their offices in San Francisco. Bye Tyron, thanks for hanging out and for your random fact prompt. <laughs> and sounds good, report back. Um. Okay, so I need to make a request that they make a playlist for that, but that'll be fine, I'm sure. Oh my gosh, I really like this page now. This is turning out well. Um, I'm not sure how best to do my list of interviews and stuff. And did I say I was going to have a separate speaking page in my footer? I think I did, yep, okay. I think this is just going to be links. Like with the heading, yeah. Um, hmm. I don't know actually. As seen in. I don't know about doing cards for this because I think it'd be too many. Although maybe. Oh, our playlist ended. 
need to work on extending it. At least it's two hours long now. It used to be only like an hour and 15 minutes or something. Hmm. I guess it could be cards. I think that's giving it more weight to them than I'd like though, if that makes sense. Because there's some things that I want to do, like, I wonder if I can even find this article again. Um, if I just search my name, here we go, yeah. Like I want to put this in there, which is not, I don't know. This is basically just the NZ Herald decided to regurgitate my salary video, but I just think it was cool that I was on the NZ Herald. <laughs> It's funny how they presented quotes like, I gave them an interview. <laughs> she adds this. I'm like, yeah, I said that in my own video that you copy and pasted from. <laughs> oh, that was right. They linked to my income report, which I really appreciated. So it's the kind of thing where I'd want to... Um, Oh, we're gonna scroll in. I can't remember the name of the hopeful song, Asaro. I should pay attention to that next time it comes on. Take the bride, make the cards. <laughs> um, maybe instead of the year, it would have the title. So even then, I feel like that text is too large. Maybe we would just think in here, thinking out loud. Is this is the publication name the 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 link? Or do I go this far? Hey, Will! Nice to see you here. Yeah, that would be fun, Marcelo. I haven't done collabs for ages. Oh, I guess, yeah. No, not with other YouTubers. Recording interviews for Inside Marketing Design is probably the closest that I've got recently. Are we going to do cards for this too? Oh damn, I think you're right. I think this has to be a card as well. And it could be something that I make a CMS collection for in Webflow, so it's pretty easy for me to add to it over time. Okay, yep, this is what we'll do. And then it'll have like, listen to podcast, if it's a podcast, for example. All the cards. <laughs> Every section gets a card. Every section is getting multiple cards by this point. <laughs> and uh, I think this means that these should be in columns of three as well to tie in. But yeah. The sparkly specialist are for Eric. <laughs> we worked out Eric because um, Sabrina joined and it showed her that she would get the sparkly star at six months. So that means you've been a member for six months, which I really, really appreciate. Because I know that there's been plenty of times within that six months where I haven't streamed for a few weeks um, just because of my work schedule and everything, you know? And so I appreciate you sticking around. Spark Panther, nice to see you. I'm feeling good today. Everyone gets cards, yes. 
I think I want to have my bio and headshot. Actually, that reminds me. I want to look at what Nathan does on his site for this. Does he have like a press page? Do 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 do. He does not. Because I want to have um, an introduction here to myself, but then also like um, a bio that a, a podcast or a conference or whatever could copy and paste. Uh, I think, oh, actually, Jessica Heesh, she might have a good one. That might be what I'm thinking of. I appreciate you, Eric. <clears throat> okay, is it her about page? This is how she's approached it. Where does this go? Ah, oh. <laughs> that's good. That's very, very good. Okay. Did you all catch that? <laughs> I swear she used to have a... <clears throat> Press kit. Here we go. I swear she used to have, oh, I thought she had like a short version and a long version of her biography. Maybe I want to call this, um, no, I want to say press and interviews because the NZ Herald was not an interview, but I want to include it. Yeah, she is my creator idol. Always has been, probably always will be. Oops. Maybe I could actually include it below this. Or like in this section. I don't actually think I want to do photos. Uh, maybe I should because I feel like if I don't people are just going to use this one of Nora. <laughs> title case the h2s i prefer sentence case that's why 
it's like it's keeping the pattern across the rest of my site like i just feel like sentence case looks more look at this if i may um i don't think you capitalize in do you to me this just looks so corporate i don't know how else to describe it i'm like oh i don't know i don't know how to describe it i just don't like title case and i make everything sentence case i guess i could break that pattern for something like this where it's um just two words but something like this i mean but i prefer this Yeah, look, good idea about the this one being a carousel because there's probably going to be more of them than here. I don't know. I'll see how it feels when I get it on the site, maybe. ConvertKit uses sentence case and that was, um, yeah, I guess I can take a lot of credit for that because <laughs> I spent a long time, like many years, taking title case copy and putting it into sentence case. Um, there's still places that I didn't catch and that we've probably got it wrong, but now that's part of our like brand style is to have um, sentence case. And then maybe you'll have a couple of photos like of one of me in my office and a headshot. I don't know. Yes, Sabrina, exactly. Find happiness and motivation in what your gut is telling you to do versus what you should be doing. Okay, so I need to do some writing here to fully know what I'm going to do about this. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Nikolai, this is really bothering you, isn't it? <laughs> your gut says it's time to eat. Honestly, me too soon. Um, what am I going to do about an in-page navigation? And what do I say on my current about page? About speaking? Nothing. Okay. Hey Sankalp, it is been a long stream, but honestly it's probably going to end shortly because we've been going for a while and um, I have a mentoring call at six in half an hour. It's all sentence case and it's going to stay that way, folks. Um, okay, in page nav. Maybe I just have like a take one of these as a style. Let's just try it. I am on vacation. The mentoring call is something that I chose to do. And this is how I what I do for fun. <laughs> Maybe I'd have the bio and photos at the bottom, actually. That's not how you spell acknowledgements. Wait. There we go. Is that how you spell it? Um... I put this at the top? I don't know. I'm 
tricky. I don't want to have it following you down the page, like I don't think it's that important if that makes sense. Yeah, I did recognize your name from Twitch, Valpanther. Um, these days I'm doing all of my design live streaming here on YouTube and on Twitch I'm gonna um, just do like gameplay. I did one the other day. I don't want to do a sticky burger on the side because then I think that that's um, too much. I don't know. But I also think that I want to have this come after. I think not the about me in this. I don't know. I think that that might be a figure out another day thing. But we've come a long way today. Finished the design of the homepage, apart from all the little like hand drawn bits, but you know, got close. Figured out how I'm gonna treat my blog in this new styling. Um, oh, I just hmm, had a thought. Do I wanna swap these around for the blog? Let me just see what this looks like. Probably. It, would it be weird that the email sign up swap sides? I guess I could do it here as well. Let's see what that would look like. Um, I'm gonna group that so that I can pick it up easy. That's probably nice. Let's go with that. Last minute change. <laughs> yep, we've got my plane page ready that I'm gonna make in the CMS with the option to promote different things. Um, we already had some tweets for the that I can bet on this page, which is awesome. I really appreciate it. And this one I'll figure out when I look at what Calendly does. So yeah, there's still some things, but I think that we are ready to start building and that that is, I'll figure out the rest of it in Webflow itself. So I don't know if I want to promise Monday or Tuesday for a stream. Um, we'll see how I'm feeling, but if you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and you have notifications on, you should be told when I'm going live. Dave, I'll be using Webflow for this. So yeah, that's what we'll do next. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Um, yeah, okay, just catching up on, on chat here. But I'm, I'm not going to talk about what area I live in in the city. I, I'm sure you have good intentions, but we just don't wanna like invite stalkers, you know? <laughs> it's a small city. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today, friends. This was great. Oh yeah, the footer as well. We finalized that a bit more. That came a long way from where it used to be. It's fun, right? I think that um, if you sat through all this or like as you've been following along, this is why iteration is important, you know? My first version of this looks like this. And there's a lot of elements in here that made it into the final version. But this compared to this, um, is just like, this has so much more polish to it. And I can say this, I'm talking about my own work here, but I'm very confident in the fact that it does. And I'm sure it will polish further as I get into building. Um, yeah, really pleased with how this went. All right, friends. Well, hope you have a good rest of your Friday. Hope you have a productive day if it's still going. And if you're like Jacques and me and it is past 5 p.m. for you, then we can sign off and go have a cocktail now. I will wait and um, do my mentoring call before I have a cocktail. But yeah, 
thanks for joining me um and i will see you next week to start building in webflow bye